Beach of Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to listen to Bamboo for the first time. Oh, that's good. And he's, a, he's a judge, isn't he? he? Yeah, he is a coach and a mentor in the voice the voice kids philippines isn't it also like wasn't he like your face sounds familiar or something like that? oh i don't know probably oh, i wouldn't i, I might have just made that up <laughs> um, but yeah this is one of his songs it's called hallelujah hallelujah and it's really it's one of his really, songs yeah it's one is of his songs the, I, the, like iconic song. no 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 it's not the jeff buckley song it's right. his song oh, that's so good watching. I, I, I did a little research oh it mixed very nice yeah this is 2005. Can we have a moment for that? <laughs> Different times, man. Oh, I wish we could turn it up. Go. Or if I press it, it I might know. explode. That's what I'm saying. I'm risking it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Go on. Oh, that's good. That's you good. Well, that place is packed. You know what? I miss concerts like this. You know, like the ones that we used to have back home, the rock concerts. Oh, he, he always rock. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe not. It's a bit progressive. <laughs> oh, cool! That's drummer, though. It feels like this feels like back home. It does, but with great vocalists. <laughs> <laughs> Or like, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's right, mate. Or Matchbox 20. His, his voice... Sorry, I'll strangle you later. <laughs> <laughs> his voice texture is like the guy like the guy from Matchbox 20. What's his name? Uh, I, I love him too. Freaking hell. Tony Stark. No. The guy from Matchbox 20. Go, go. Think, think, think. Go I ahead. love saying that. I love saying random people's names. When people are trying to think of names. Anyways. But Do remember, you everybody, say? you can support the podcast and reactions of the Ace by going to Future Fridays too. <laughs> Rob Thomas. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Rob Thomas, yeah. Yes. But I was thinking, this, that's, a good, uh, that's a good point you made. Like, when you listen to progressive uh, rock or alternative, actually any, anything to do with rock, which is actually outside of my area of expertise. Not that I have one, but that is probably outside of any area of expertise. <laughs> but Regarding me. <laughs> yeah, but um, in, in especially in Venezuela, that was one of the things that was mainly overlooked. Actually, I, I'm going to say worldwide. It's one of the things that's mainly overlooked when it comes to progressive rock bands or alternative bands is the vocalist. Yeah, they're very overlooked. Musicians are some of their best, oh. actually. Some of the ones that I've found to be uh, the mo most pleasurable experience to work with, with, with them. But singing-wise, they're so <laughs> neglected. Their band neglects the singer for some reason in terms of vocal capability. Like, I don't know, understand why. So you don't get this type of a uh, no, vocal... No, uh, 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 What do you call it? Vocal... Uh, Expertise. I didn't want to use that word again. Oh, sorry. Because uh, apparently that's bad English. Virtuos. Vir yeah. <laughs> Whatever that word. Pass me the pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I just think I just think the 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 reason why it's a little bit overlooked is because progressive music, progressive rock, alternative. So it's so um, experimental that you're looking when you you're trying to get a vocalist, you're looking for something that has texture, somebody who is not 
the usual sound sure. and it gets lost in what's actually just good. do experiment yeah it turns too far from from being melodic and then you get really weird vocalists with amazing bands but you're like oh i don't really know what i'm listening that to. may work in studio like the come exactly. on they, they work in studio but well, live mean, is just rough when you're so jumping around like this you gotta be a good bloody singer and and even in even if the singing lines are short and and precise and they're very calculated like they are in this song you you need a, a high level of performance and 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 uh, cardio and and you know capability of, of delivering to actually make the whole i don't know 20,000 30,000 people that are in this that venue like packed. jump up and down with your song and i think the dynamics also in the song arrangements are are brilliant it's fantastic yeah, it's good. really gives me incubus vibes it's good and i'm not a big fan of rock it's dope but I like this arrangement. That's so enjoyable, dude. Yeah, very incubus. That's nice. That reminds me of Hallelujah. Yeah, but that song, that word can totally be thrown around so much, especially in 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 Monday music. Re religious words like that get thrown around for a different meaning of purposes. You think? Yeah. 100%. I don't think I've ever heard a Hallelujah song that had nothing to do with uh, with Christianity. Really? Never. I think most Hallelujah songs I've ever heard have something to do with Christianity. Yeah. Well, some some type of spirit spirituality. Okay, I, I understand that. Perhaps you're right, but because I don't know, not that's... not like full on fully fledged worship worship songs. songs. That's freaking fire. That's amazing. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. We've seen that before, right? Like a lot of sometimes where the sort of artists that are very aligned with their sort of religion, they just bring out worship songs mm. in concerts. I don't know where it may not be a worship yeah. concert. It's and that's dope. fine. Like, it's really cool. I like that. You came to my world for that time. You know what I mean? Exactly. So you're coming into their own expression of artistry. And spirituality is such a huge insp source of inspiration for artists. So I think it's it, w when you get when you get to um, experience music uh, that's aligned with their, their spirituality, then you're also experiencing them to, to the to a certain extent, yeah. yeah to the, no, to the fullest extent, because that's, that's such point. a vulnerable place for, for humans, that's right? Good point. I don't think I've ever been to a worship concert, uh, even though we sort of grew up around uh, a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, like uh, bands that were actually just purely that, right, in Venezuela? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, we, we would rehearse, like, in one floor, and then in, in, in another floor, like, in this building, well, there was, like, a church, wasn't it? Like yeah, a, a Christian worship uh, church. Yeah, and yeah. they would play a lot of artists. They would, like, uh, had guitarists, and they, they had, like, drummers and stuff. Full like on that. bands, yeah. Sometimes we'd go to some of their concerts and stuff like that, but... Yeah, but did I... I don't think I ever went to one. Did I? Maybe you didn't. You just don't remember. Maybe I was too young. I think you did. Yeah, did I? can't remember that. Anyway, <laughs> go on. This is cool though. I'll do that. Way, I know that one. <laughs> oh, 
That is that place crazy. Is mm-hmm. Ah, that is kind of nuts. Not gonna lie. Oh, hey, there's this, that band again, Queso. Queso. They 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 do rock. They do rock yes. as well. That's what I found out last time. Right. Whoa. Whoa okay. <laughs> the house coming down. Sorry, it's just a tiger up downstairs. <laughs> I don't have a tiger. It was a joke. Fuck. Sometimes people send me messages and stuff. Some of the stuff I said, but I was joking. But it was like the absurd stuff, you know, like yeah. like uh, what did yeah, I say? but if like I... like when I said that story, I almost killed someone with a jelly baby. That was a hyperbole. <laughs> but I just love how people come up like <laughs> they they're like really concerned after. <laughs> the kid survived, man, <laughs> and it was a kid against another kid. So the legality of it is fine, you know. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what else. <laughs> God damn. Let us know what else you like us to check out from Bamboo. He is amazing, and I love everything that he's done here. So if you got any more live performances or any music videos that you like us to check out, please let them leave them down in the comment section below. Yeah, maybe when the future we'll do like a rock, uh, Filipino rock special. Yeah, why not? Woo! Again, that's not the type of music I listen to. But, but if it's than, like this, more than happy to check it out. <laughs> I'm about to jump that bandwagon. Absolutely. <laughs> Anyways. Also, you can support the podcast and reactions like this by purchasing your merch that's been in the comment below. Okay, goodbye. You have said it. I won. <laughs>